Hello everyone, Rick here from Bioformation and I'm back. It's been another bajillion months. Uh, and today I'm reviewing my, well, my basically my self mock, uh, Lighthorn, Master of Lightning. And so here he is. Boom, big reveal, four arms. Are you surprised? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, well, he's now, he's right now he's holding this thing, but I'm just gonna remove that because. He doesn't need that right now. Uh, put his thingies back on. Yeah, and as you can see, he's he's lighter. Uh, well, you've never seen him before, but this is what lighter looks like. Uh, he's basically just this large dude with four arms who's made of lightning, and that's his character. <laughs> uh, I made him. When did I make him? I think I made him around four years ago. Uh, and the first version of him was basically just the 2016 Ikimu with two extra arms on a uh, place where the shoulder pads would be. Uh, so, yay for creative right, creativity. Um, sorry, I'm just I'm sitting in a pile of Lego right now. Well, of course, I've, I use this hand design. And Lightroom is, well, is kept, well, in Romania, the other world we created, he is basically the general of the entire army. And his, yeah, basically, with Romania, most people who are a part of it have this kind of phase where they just switch characters in the beginning uh, until they finally have a character that sticks. And Lightrun became a general Grievous or a version of General Grievous for a long time until they became Lightrun again. Uh, it's kind of stupid uh, story, so I'm not going to end up with that story. He has this on his back and his sh shoulders, which I think is just a nice nod to when he was not light on. Uh, for the rest, his armor is just mostly gold. Uh, yeah, because gold is a good color with this uh, this translucent blue, and also it's printed on a chest place, yeah, a chest piece. So it would be worth have it without gold if this is the only gold. Um, uh, well, it's kind of sad that I went through the trouble of making this uh, his arm design function. So if you move his arm, uh, well his arms, this moves with it, and then I proceeded to just throw cake on top of it. But you can still see it in front. So. And for the light turn, I kind of this would kind of well this was my self mock, so I kind of kind of had to go all out. So if I remove this cape, which is not that hard to do, it's kind of a bitch to get on, but... <laughs> um, please just, please just move, work, work with me, work, please, for the love of fuck, Jesus Christ, he'll merit it. Yeah, so getting his cape off is kind of it's kind of annoying to do, and then his whole body falls apart. In the end, he'll get there. Um, sorry, he just fell apart, so I'm fixing him right now. And his head, uh, as you can see, kind of he kind of looks too buff without a cape. I think so. That's one of the main reasons I edited, but now you can have a better look at the back, and if I take off these pieces, uh, this isn't supposed to come off, but it does, because it's just connected by one axle. You can see that I made an entirely new arm design, or shoulder design even, for Lightroom. Yeah. The armoring is the torso, you can see it's the 2016 Toa Torso with these two pieces stuck on the side of the unity piece and then connected here in the front for some more stability and from the top, as you can see you have, uh, well, an axle with ball joint, ball joint with some sort of neck, some sort of neck ball joint um, which allows you to attach four arms and armor in the front and the back, which is what I did, just to make them, 
feel more complete because I really wanted to have the moving armor thingy bits. Uh, and I think I succeeded in that, uh, personally. I think it turned out pretty great. Uh, for the rest, there's really not much to talk about with him. Uh, the hands are designed, you already know. Uh, I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of a simple figure, actually, if you just look at, don't look at the shoulders or anything. Uh, I do like how I did the back of the legs with just basically this, and then just connecting it like so. And then you can still bend the knee about 90 degrees, but you have armor on the back of the legs, and you added this as an extra armoring to the lower legs. Uh, but of course, Lightern, this isn't all Lightern has, he has the weapons, and his main weapons are these two hammers and for Lightroom to actually have to come up with a way to have these hands uh, hold weapons without them falling out so I decided on this just two of these pieces basically what you want to do is uh, not have him fall over is you want to have him just holding his fingers like this then you can slide these up so they kind of are snug with the T-bar and then you fold them back fold the fingies around them and they're like just holding one of his weapons and I like to have him on one side wield the weapon in his outer arm and on the other side on the inside so it's your brain can actually register that all of those arms are part of his body because if you didn't know your brain is not really good at noticing that humanoid figures uh, could have more than four arms or two arms uh, so that's just to kind of have your brain notice that and his weapon is falling apart in my fingers it's kind of difficult to get it in without breaking that's not really anything i can do and well something i can do anything about but you know uh, thingies and ta -da. Mm. Normally I would have him floating, but you know, Lego can float without a stand, which I don't have. And you can make him of this too, but you said in the intro, that's kind of a bit to get out. Um, yeah, there's really not much stuff to say about him. He's light on. Uh, I mean, don't have, I don't really have anything here to compare him to for size. I mean, just molten man. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have the Ninjago Legacy Golden Dragon. Um, and of course, a minifigure. So here we have Rick, Rick if he wants to stand. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know where Fengar is right now. Yeah, the figure. Um, I mean, you're gonna have to wait a second, so jump cut. Ja, dat is niet waar. Nu is een last of us vorm. Een apocalypse vorm. Dus uh, die wil ik nog een review maken, dus een minuut te lang in beeld. Nee, weet ik. En Fengar, who's missing a nail, and also spoilers for the coming review. So, yeah, that's it for this review. It's not that long. Uh, I just wanted to show off this figure because I'm pretty proud of it, and this is light on everyone, so. Um, if you want to see more reviews in uh, from me uh, in about eight months, uh, then maybe subscribe to Bar Formation to know if I'm still alive in a uh, half a year. Uh, and maybe if you want to see Fanger's videos too, um, maybe leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Rick from Bar Formation, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.